Hello. In this video I will continue talking about beautiful and gorgeous model prototype which was not made for Yandere Simulator, or for anyone else. As it was stated in my last video, the modeler, who comes around by the name Vladislav, claims he lost the file. But this is not the end of story. In this episode of Yandere Simulator Volunteers Drama, the modeler comes forward to dispel the lies, clear misconceptions, and clean his pseudonym. With a special guest. Judge Judy. Let's get down to business. Very soon, well instantly actually, after I published a video speaking about fan-made character model based on official artwork, I have received attention of the star of the show. The modeler himself. He was full of joy and happiness. He was so glad to be featured on my channel he decided to pay a personal visit. His entrance was confusing to say the least. Instead of coming in with his original account he made a new one. What for, I don't know. He brought his friends too. They were very pleasant and considerate people, which was showed by their excessive insults, extremely disruptive behavior, and general hostility. The members of our cozy little Discord server were big fans of his work. They quickly started asking questions about his art. He was objecting to people doubting authenticity of his work. It's hard to blame them when it looks very much like a flat drawing. In a heated conversation, the moderator decided to treat the modeler with a special honor and made a separate text channel just for him, and our special guest. Here comes the Judge Judy. Before we continue, it's important to establish some facts that were brought up that day. The modeler, whom we will call Vladislav from now on, claimed he no longer has any assets related to that model, meshes, screenshots, and textures. He lost password from his storage. But most importantly, he claimed he lost password in October 2021. Those of you who watched my previous video should raise an eyebrow. Because Vladislav actually passed me some development images and textures, very recently. The chat with the Judge Judy was just as authentic and unpleasant as the real thing. The person who was role-playing this character did a good job. Vladislav was being asked questions for around a couple of hours. During this hearing, the judge verified his story, assessed his competency, and asked for more insight into his working practices. He confirmed that most of the texture for the model was detail projected from the official artwork. The model's rendering was not edited or retouched. At least that's what he said. A bit later he accidentally told on himself. Vladislav was asked about conditions of his collaboration, but he took the question wrongly. He claimed he asked for a permission from a person who is no longer involved with the project of Yandere Simulator. The artist behind early official illustrations. After being asked for proof, Vladislav posted a few screenshots, that only showed him fishing for compliments. Interestingly, he changed his story very quickly after he was pressed to tell when did he actually ask for a permission. Turns out he didn't, he was just showing off his work to the artist for attention. But that's not all. He also did not ask Yandere Dev any permissions to use official artwork as a source material and as a base concept for the model. From this point, things started getting spicy. After long conversation that seemed to have exhausted all the possible questions, Judge Judy pressed our wunderkind further. Remember when Vladislav lost password to his storage? At least that's what he claimed. October 2021. This is very important. Next few questions verified when Alex requested the model. That's where Vladislav got caught lying red-handed. How did I not notice this before? It was right in front of our eyes all this time. I would like to point out the ridiculous and unbelievably stupid reason he stated on why they made the model. It's like a cherry on top of the cake. In response, Vladislav snapped. As it was pointed out by other members of the server, 
He never denied the accusation of trying to make a controversy messing up with the development of Yandere Simulator. After all, everything he did was looking exactly like a malicious attempt to mess up with Alex for Cloud and try to stop him from having a new model, by simply making it before he does. Unfortunately, Vladislav and his support buddies reached the limit of our hospitality and patience, so they had to be removed from the server. But that's not the end. Around a week later our wunderkind came back with some new stuff to add to the table. Well, not actually him, but his friend. He avoids using his main profile. Maybe he finally learned he's very bad at deceiving people, and takes extra precaution making others do the lip service for him. Anyway. Miraculously the models have resurfaced. With bones and some animations. Never seen before. If this model was not hastily recreated to prove it's real, then it just shows my assumption of it being pretty bad as true. See for yourself. Obviously, they can't share the model for vague reasons that don't make sense. And even if they did, that would not give a reasonable explanation to messing up with the development of Yandere Simulator. As you see, in every attempt to try and clean his name, Vladislav had only smeared more grease on it. In conclusion, pretty much all the suspicions about this sketchy affair turned out to be valid. We have had enough people trying to manufacture controversy or an issue with Alex, some of which I have covered on my channel. So, don't rush to believe anyone who claims Alex had wronged them. With the recent record of events and indecency of volunteers, as well as all the other people who tried to rip off the idea of Yandere Simulator, it should be assumed that someone, yet again, picks Alex as an easy target. That's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you for watching. And don't defend someone just because they have beef with Alex.